Hello everyone, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Um, I'm from Ohio and I would like to bring you a technique video today. Um, it's called Faux Frames. But before I do that, let me just get a few things out of the way. Here's my January host code. If you do not have a demonstrator and I can help you, um, you can email me at my email address or you can go to my um, online store at readerhomes.stampinup.net and I would be glad to help you. I also have a Facebook group called Stamp Crazy VIP where I do Facebook Lives every Tuesday morning and I do a PDF of my directions for my techniques and the supplies and the supplies for the cards that I used and how to do that. Unfortunately today I don't have that PDF made to be over there yet so I do have to do that. I'm just coming off of having COVID and um, just now getting back in the swing of things and feeling like myself again. I do want to tell you that our mini catalog is now um, live. You can order from it. Um, and then we have our celebration catalog, which is good till the end of February. Our mini catalog is good till June. And you can, for every $50 you spend in it or it and or the annual catalog you can pick out a celebration item there are a couple items if you spend a hundred dollars or more if you would rather have those if you have a three hundred dollar order there is a stamp set that you can get for free and also um they have their promotion right now where their starter kit, if you'd like to join Stampin' Up! is $99. I'd be more than happy to help you with that if you don't have a demonstrator to help you with that and you would like to um, take advantage of that. You get $125 free and um, you will get assortment pack of assortment pack of six, six by six stacks of our new designer series papers. So you'll get lots of papers. You'll get your $125 worth of free stuff plus your supplies like office type supplies, order blanks, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, you can just let me know if I can be of any help to you in any of those. Okay, we're going to do something called a faux frame. And i got three different cards out here because I'm going to show you three different things. This frame, the first one I did, I did with a Sharpie marker. It's a Sharpie Ultra Fine marker that just has a really fine tip makes really dark kind of a heavy line though um these two cards i use the micro micron zero three ink it's very fine and it gives you a finer line um this card i was watching tv last night as i was doing it so i didn't keep my template straight so my lines are kind of wonky so I put some little dots in there to kind of take away from my wonky little lines but that's not here nor there I just want to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect you can you can embellish a little bit and, and take away from that um, the stamp set I'm going to be using today is art gallery I'm going to be demonstrating this card right here this card was made with it also that's in the new mini catalog this one was made with the Sweet Ice Cream, which is this one. Really cute set, also in the new mini catalog. So I just wanted to show you those things. And so now I'll get started and tell you about making a faux frame. Okay? I'm going to be using a piece of paper that is four and three quarter by three and a half. My template is two and three quarter by four four and it goes in the center is where I am going to actually put my template and um, you're going to take a fine pencil I take a mechanical pencil because the lead is not real dark I'm going to line this up straight and I'm going to mark my four corners. I'm just going to put a light little dot at each corner so I can see where my template is going to go around. Okay, 
I'm going to move that and I can see my four dots here. I don't know if you can, but there are four little dots here. So that when I stamp, and I do want to stamp outside of those dots because I want to give some character out here away from my frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this stamp right here. Um, because you, you use two different stamps to do that, and I just want to show how I did that. So that's going to be my go-to stamp. I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo for the flowers on it. So I'm going to ink my flowers, kind of stay away from my leaves, but making sure I really get my flowers inked up, okay? Then I'm going to bring in Old Olive, and that is my green that I used. And then when I use that, I'm going to just tap where those green leaves are. And if I leave some pink on my leaves, I'm not really worried about that. It just gives a character. And I like character with my... So... I've got that inked up. Now remember I said I want to go outside of my lines a little bit. So I'm going to take and ink that up really good. Press. And there's my flowers. Okay. Now to do the center, I used this. Now I'm going to use this little stamp right here with Poppy Parade and I'm going to add my um whoops I'm just going to add this to the center of my flowers that way it gives your flowers some dimension and that is how the flowers are done. Okay? So let me close these ink pad up. That's the last I need is getting in the wrong ink pad. Do y'all ever do that when you leave them open? I'm notorious for doing that. So I'm going to get out my Memento Black. And I'm going to take my Happy Birthday stamp. I'm going to ink that up really good. And here's my dot right here. And I want to be... A little above the dot and a little below the dot um, as you can see to where that kind of runs through there so I'm going to take I'm sorry if I got my head in the camera I just want to be a little below and a little above the dot there and stamp my happy birthday okay so that is the stamping that's done. Now, I do want to say you need to use a permanent marker. Uh, the stamp and write markers are not permanent, and therefore, when you go around this edge, that will stay wet on this um, acetate. And therefore, if you move this a little bit, you could get black on your card, which you really, really, really don't want to do. So I use a permanent marker. This is an acetate, acetate window sheet that I just cut a piece of. So I'm going to line my dots back up. I'm going to turn this this away before I start. And let me just show you something. I have a little bit of black ink right there. And I don't know if you guys have heard of the Sandy Racers by Tombow. But I'm going to take right there where that little bit of black ink is. And I'm going to take the sand eraser and it will lighten that. Now it will take off the, um, the water-based inks because they're not permanent. It will take those off really, really well. This you have to work at a little bit, but it won't. If you go lightly, it's not going to there that lightened up a little bit so it does make sandy paper though so he, anyway here we go this thing is great though it works great on your water-based ink pads if you get ink on your cards 
So I'm going to turn this this way because I want to, um, I'm lining my dots up. And you don't want anything to move and unfortunately you can't adhere it down because if you take that off then you're going to have a mess. So I'm going to start here. And as you see, I'm going, I'm coming in between where my happy birthday is. I'm going to come over to my edge. I'm going to bring this one down. And then I'm going to come over with this one. And then I'm going to come up on this edge. And move my template. And there I have my faux frame. Um, I like going outside my edges because that gives a little bit more dimension. You could stamp inside and make your faux frame. You could also cut your um, cardstock bigger if you wanted it, make you a bigger frame. You can do these in any size you want. You could even like just block in part of, you know, make this frame, make a smaller frame. You know, you could do all kinds of things with this. But I basically wanted to show you the general idea of doing this and um, how you want to kind of more or less color outside the lines. I am going to, before, this is the inside of my card, and I'm going to re-stamp again. So if you want to see that again real quick, I'm going to do that, where I just ink up. And you could do markers, I guess, if you wanted. Um, I don't do markers on, especially on photopolymer. I don't think they work well. But, um... I like to just use my ink pads and like I said if I have a little bit of pink on my leaves or if I have a little bit of green on my flower I'm okay with that they're flowers it's not the end of the world if something's not perfect so I'm just going to stamp this in the corner and you can see I got two little buds on my leaves that are kind of got some pink in them. I'm okay with that. And then I'm just going to take this little stamp again with my Poppy Parade. I like Poppy Parade and Flirty Flamingo together. I think they make a good combination. And there we go. So that's the inside of my card. So all I have to do is actually put my card together. I'm using a Poppy Parade base to kind of bring out the centers of those flowers that um, I stamped. So we're just going to crease that really well. We're going to put our inside in. I use my Tombow Glue. Which, if you watch my videos, you know that's my go-to glue. So, we've got that in there. I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to just add this. I didn't add any dimensionals or anything. I just added with glue. Made a very simple, flat card which the mailman loves you for because you don't have all that stuff st sticking out. Turn that over and redo my size. And there we go. So there's those cards. Here's the one made with the bigger flowers. And then here's the one with ice cream cones. So that is my technique today, ladies, gentlemen, whoever's on here. 
I hope you like it and I hope you try it. It's a fun technique and just remember to cut out a um, template out of a piece of um, window sheet, um, Stampin' Up's window sheets. Work great if you have just acetate. If you don't have either one and you have vellum, if you have a heavier vellum, you can cut it out of vellum and it works great. Um, so you can make a template pretty much out of anything. So I want to bring that video to you today and show you that. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. Um, I would really love if you could give me a thumbs up on my video. and um, Or hopefully you like it enough to give it a thumbs up. And if you would share my video, I would really appreciate that. So until I get back with another video, um, you guys have a great time. I hope you have fun creating cards. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.